Bonjour, I'm Richard Nayam, and welcome back to A Bite of Paris. I'm with my friend Diane Pernay today, and we're at her favorite neighborhood salon de thé, or tea salon, called Les Deux Abeilles, on the Rue de Université in the 7th arrondissement. Now, Diane, I've known her over 11 years now, and she is the author and uh, creator of A Shade of View on Fashion, the ultra-popular fashion blog, and she's also the, the founder of the internationally successful film festival, A Shade of View on Film Fashion. Diane, so great to see you. Nice to see you too. And uh, it's lovely today. It's a, it's a May spring day. It's uh, beautiful and sunny out. And uh, so what, what, what are you having today? I'm having one of my favorite uh, scones here. Okay, okay. And Darjeeling tea. Mm. I come here a lot for lunch, for tea, for everything. Now, why is it your favorite place? One of your favorite places is there? Well, is it? because the food's delicious. It's mm -hmm. a family run uh, tea salon, mm -hmm. and the, everything is just made with love, I'm sure. Mm. Because you can always taste it when people, you know, create food because they love what they're doing. Right, right. Yes, yeah, so I definitely understand that. Yeah. When I used to make my chocolates, I right, exactly. made with love. Uh, Makes so, a difference. yes. Uh, now today, what what did I get? Okay, I got the uh, red fruit crumble, and that looks really good. Again, it looks like your somebody's grandmother made it. <laughs> yeah, could be. Yes, it's okay. probably the uncle. Yes. <laughs> okay. So. so we're gonna take bites of our. Bite of Paris. Yes, a bite of Paris. So. Oh, oh it's warm. It? Mm. It's so nice. So it's like this um this red ber berries, I taste some rhubarb in it. And the scones, are are they just plain or they have some raisins in them? No, no, they're plain. Mm. It's kind of crumbling here. Mm -hmm. Well that means they're fresh. They're fresh. They're yes. still warm too. So Diane, you have um a very special event coming up in September um, with your film festival. So please share with us about this exciting event. Well, September 7th, 8th, and 9th, mm -hmm. I've been. It's kind of noisy. So, September 7th, 8th, and 9th. Yes through the generous support of Pierre Cardin mm -hmm. and the city of Teul sur mer mm -hmm. My festival, ASVAF, has been invited to celebrate the 10th anniversary mm -hmm. at Palais Boule. Okay. Palais Boule is this amazing residence of Pierre Cardin. Now this is in the south of France, right? In, uh... Yes, in the Riviera. Okay, okay. It's 20 minutes outside of Cannes. Mm. And what kind of, uh, so what's the, is there a special theme to the competition this year? No, I don't have a special theme. It's a short film competition. Mm -hmm. It's also, um, there's out of competition films. Mm -hmm. There's lots of categories for the prizes. Like this. Like any film festival, you know, best film, best cinematography, mm. best editing, mm. best acting, best styling. And um, we have a big student film competition. Oh, wow. Okay. And there's some really great stuff. And now, I know, um, so tell us about the actual location. I know this is a, a very famous house architecturally, so... so Yes, and it so has it, this interesting look to, like this futuristic look to it. Yeah. Huh? <coughs> I mean, I think it was built in the 70s mm -hmm. by a Hungarian architect. Mm -hmm. And Pierre Cardin bought it and he completed it. He built like a amphitheater that seats mm -hmm. 500 mm -hmm. people. And it's all like, it's called Palais which means right. bubble palace. Right. And they're all kind of 
bubbles that you have the view of the Mediterranean. Mm. It's amazing. It sounds like a great location. Yeah. Uh, and thank you for bringing me to Le Duz Abbey and this delicious tart. And thank you for inviting me to Bite of Paris. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for joining Diane Pernay and I today for Bite of Paris at Le Duz Abbey. And please hit the red subscribe button after you watch this. And if you liked it, hit the like button.